Good morning, guys. This is Darren coming to you from a keg art. Hope everybody's having a good, uh, I believe, Thursday morning. Um, I've got my cup of coffee, and I thought I'd share another little uh, drawing technique with you guys. Something that I do that works for me, helps me out, helps me get where I want to get with a sketch. Um, skulls have been a favorite of mine for a long, long, my, as far back as I can remember, I've just loved skulls, drawing skulls, the shapes of skulls, what they represent. Uh, it's just been one of my favorite things to draw. So I thought I'd share with you my technique of drawing a skull and getting towards the final product of whether it's a tattoo or a painting or anything like that. I'm going to use, hopefully the lighting is going to be better. I've got a few different things set up, but I'm going to be using a Prismacolor uh, 925. It's like a Crimson Lake, they call it. Anyway, I'm going to pan down here and hopefully we can get, hopefully you guys can see what's going on. I'll try to draw a little bit darker than normal. So anyway, for a skull... Um, again, I like to do things like a, at a three-quarter view. I'm, I'm going to draw a little bit darker than normal, just so things show up. So I'm kind of just getting a three-quarter perspective. I don't draw a lot of lower, the jawbone and stuff. I don't draw a lot of that in my skulls. There we go. I just like the looks of a skull that's got like the upper teeth. Anyway, a three-quarter perspective. You've got basically the, uh, you know, the three-quarter view. You've got your center line. You've got your horizontal line where approximately the, the nose and the eye sockets are going to be. And again, this is just a preliminary sketch. So, I mean, things can be tightened up a lot differently so at three-quarter views things are a little distorted a little bit thinner um, I just come over here on the far side and create the jawbone and then over here the temple Just really, really loose sketch to create where things are going to be. You see I've got, so this eye socket's going to be narrower and sh shorter in perspective than this one because this one's in the foreground and this one's in the background. Uh, just things are at a different perspective. So you can either, you know, you can include teeth, you can stagger the teeth, you can have teeth missing. But again, just like the feathers, don't you don't have to put everything on the same same line where they where they meet. Everything can be exaggerated. I mean, if you were doing a realistic sketch, a still sketch of a human skull, that would be different. But even then, things aren't gonna be perfect. I'm just creating the the eye the brow portion of the skull. So you can see there I've get, thrown in some teeth. So the teeth, as they go in each direction, they get different. They become different sizes because of perspective. So I'm going to go in here and do some shading from dark to light. I've always been, I've always been a fan of my light source coming from the top right or the top left point, so that the the light comes from here and the shadow is going to be down here. I just, you can choose your light source from any direction. I just 
like that perspective. So things, things are going to be a little bit darker directly underneath it. And then as the uh, shadow comes out, it's going to be a little bit lighter. Anyway, back to the eye sockets. With the light source coming from here, the top section of the inner eye socket is going to be darkest. You can throw in some lines for texture purposes. So as the shading comes out and the light gets into the eye, eye socket, it's going to be lighter. And this is just basic perspective, light, lighting and shading. This would apply to a sphere, a square, anything that would have perspective in whatever direction you choose your light source to be from. kind of throwing in some shading into the temple area and into the jawbone area so this is kind of where we're at right now it's kind of a rough sketch you get the basic basic idea and then from here you can go in and you know you can add texture you could even throw some you know some shadows over here because the lighting's coming in from this direction. Anyway, so I've got the basic skull here, and you know, from here you can go in and add texture. This is just a sketch. Like if I were, like I said, if I was going to paint this, I would just, I wouldn't even go to this detail because I know what I want to do. But I would just do the basic outline, whether I draw on tracing paper or draw right on the surface of. Uh, of the uh, tank or the helmet or whatever I'm working on. But uh, you get the idea. This is how I draw skulls. From here you could totally, you could go in and add um, some crossbones, which is cool, always cool. Doesn't get much better than skull and crossbones. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to check out my YouTube page, McKeg Art. Subscribe if you'd like to. Leave a comment. And thank you for following my art on uh, Instagram, McKeg Art. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great Thursday. Thanks for tuning in.